tell you, where have I after landing? I think this is a case flower school. I got a message from Martha from our dean in County Loud to tell me that there was a reed compet a reed uh, uh, making competition here. Well, where's all these reeds? Where's Jeanette? Is Jeanette here? Here I am, here I am, Santi. Oh, 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 big, big oh, welcome, oh, oh, big, big welcome oh, oh, oh. to Case Blair School. And you know what? I found a few letters outside here. So you better give a few little shout outs. So can you can you read some? Oh, I can I yes, yes. Do you know I was stopped by the guards on the way down here? Oh, you see, if you're outside for five <coughs> kilometres. I no was, yes, yes, I have to watch that. You have to that. stay within the counties at the moment. Can I, you wash your hands? I did, my hands are all disinfected, yes. Very good, very good. So Now who have we got here? Jack and Jessica. And James. And James Moore. And James Moore, yeah. And they have a little elf on the shelf. Oh, Chippy! Chippy is his oh, elf. Where's, the where's Chippy? Yeah, he must be on the, I don't know what county they're in. I don't know what county. And here's another letter. Oh. So we have um, Fiok. We have Fiok. Oh, Fiok from Auckland. Auckland, County Wicklow. County Wicklow. He has been an, an excellent boy. Oh, that yeah, very you, you good. Know and that he lost and his he really wasn't sitting on the naughty shelf. Oh, absolutely not. Now hold on, we have another letter here. Sophia. 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 Age, age five. And Eleanor. 20 months and old. She's only a little baby. Ah, she's only a little baby. Has she written her letter, do you know? I'd say, well, she'd obviously have. Oh, we have all these notes good, here. Yeah. Now we have another one here. The mum Heather sent this one in. Mum Heather, said the kids. Sid and the kids. And his mum, Heather. Hello, Heather, how are you? And we have another one. This is only a little baby as well. She's ah, only 18 months 18 old. 18 months. That's Rebecca. Rebecca, and from she's from Dublin. Dublin. Ah, and she's only 18 months old. Oh, my God. I hope and we have another one now. This fella's looking for a bike. A bike? Well, he has to. I hope he was a good boy. I don't know. What's his name? Yeah, yeah. Lexic O'Toole. Age four. Age four. From, from Eden, Eden Derry. Derry. All the way from Eden Derry. Absolutely. Oh, my God. And we have another. There's two more, right, for the moment. So who Helena we and Kara. No, Kira. Kira, I beg. Sorry, Kira. And they have a little brother, obviously. And a little Adam and, and, and Lyons from County Clare. County Clare. How, how are you? Now, I don't know whether you can pronounce this one. For, for, oh my God, I have to is change it? my glass. God, I have to go to Specsavers again there. <laughs> Fabian, is it? Fabian. Fabian, 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 McCritchie. Fa um, Fabian McCritchie from Kilmac... Kilmac Thomas. Kilmac Thomas, Waterford. County Waterford. I and hope there you... There you go. So that's all, you called them ones out already. Yeah. So listen, we have a busy night ahead of us here. We're going to do a bit I, of wreath making. How are you on the wreath making? I see we have people from France as well. Is there people from France? Oh, all the way from France. Tonight? Oh, Hello, are you from France? Oh, and Spain, and Spain. Uh, and Spain. Big, oh. big welcome, big, big welcome. So uh, listen, you go, do you, want, do you want a glass of wine, Santi? Oh, yes, absolutely. Look, look, there's your Santi glass. Will I be able to drive with this? Well, you should just give it to Rudolph and she'll be fine, you will. There you go. You go yeah. over, oh, sit down oh, then, oh, and oh, sure oh. we can cut. Bye bye, everybody. Well, 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 what a big, big of excitement, okay? So how is everybody? Have we got anybody watching? We haven't got the time to do the weather forecast tonight, but listen, anybody that's watching, let us know where you're watching in from. We have a huge backup here tonight. We have Ben on the laptop, Deirdre, as always, behind the camera. We even have Mrs. Claus here tonight. We have Nanny Kay is here tonight as well. So there's going to be lots and lots of fun and we're going to have lots of giveaways. So for anyone that's joining, who got the big white box, okay? So in your box, this was your wreath making kit. And when you opened it up, you had your kit, okay? So this was your selection of stuff. Now this is where it's going to be great crack because obviously everybody has got different sorts of kits. And some of you are on a Zoom class, some of you are on Facebook, some of you are on YouTube, we're on Instagram, we're literally everywhere here tonight. And what we're hoping is that you'll take some photographs and that you'll post the photographs in the comments and then we're going to have some giveaways. What's the giveaways going to be tonight, Okay, Deirdre? we have made, especially for tonight, we have a Christmas bundle okay. and there's five arrangements Five in arrangements, it. so it's a special Christmas online program that includes five different Christmas arrangements and what we'll do is when we call out your name we're going to get you to drop us an email info at flareschoolireland.com and then we'll send you the link and you'll be able to log in and you can watch your own personal online Christmas course. So also in the box 
you're going to get some florist ribbon, oh, you're going to get some 20 you. gauge wires, and we're also, we got some tattoos there, we have Margaret is talking, Hi, Margaret, so I don't know where Margaret Margaret was from, she's on Zoom, she is, and we also have Sorry. our spruce oh, base, oh, okay, so what I'll be hoping tonight is that we get maybe, um, two or three different wreaths done, and you never know, Santi may make up a wreath himself, so we have people watching from Australia, so big, big hello. And I know that somebody, I think it's Ashley in Australia, has organised for two kids to be delivered to her mum and her mum-in-law. So um, actually, I think they might be joining us tomorrow night, so we give them a shout out. And we also have people watching from Sligo. Who's watching from Sligo there? Is it Dara and We have Dara and Ashley tuning in from Sligo, yes. Brilliant. Oh, so we have to get Santi to come on there and give the big shout out. Jeez, Jeanette, you're getting loads of compliments. They're loving your Christmas you're jumper your Christmas here. Christmas jumper. So listen, we said we're going to have the giveaway for anyone that wore their Christmas jumper. And Mrs. Claus has her Christmas jumper on tonight. She didn't come wearing her Santi clothes. Was it too cold for you, Mrs. Claus? Oh, it was very cold. Do you want to come over and say hello there? Just while she's doing that, Ellen is on. She said, Fiacre nearly died when Santi called his name. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. Big, big wave out to Fiacre. And listen, Santi will be back on again, Fiacre. So make sure if you need anything added to the list, just let us know and we pass the message on to Santi. And I know just actually at the moment there's a little boy called Harry and he's up in Ratdown Park. And I think he's tuning in as well. Okay, so, so we um, have to get Santi to give a big shout, a big out, shout to out to Harry so in, in the Ratdown. In the meantime, we have Mrs. Claus. Nanny Kay is here tonight, she is. And she has a Christmas jumper on. So what about poor Harry there? Say hello to little Harry, that's it. Oh, hey, Harry, wish you a happy Christmas. And big, I big hope happy Christmas. brings you everything you ask for and more. <laughs> and I just want to thank all the students for every bit of support to give the schools in the lockdown. Ah, fair play to you. And you know, we've got some fabulous letters and messages. To be honest, we're absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of people that contacted us to say that the, you know, we're thanking dear and myself for getting them through the lockdown and the quarantine and so on. But what you don't realise, only for you out there, we wouldn't have got through the lockdown. Like our business would have been gone completely last March. You know the way, once lockdown came in, and as I said, we went to turn the school online. The last time we had a bit of a party night was the 29th of May. And that's, remember we had our 34th birthday and we launched the online school and so, so much has happened since then. Do you know that way? So listen, Mr. do Claus, you want a glass of wine? Do you Mr. want a glass of wine? Mr. Claus, there you go. Mr. Claus is looking for his dinner. I have to give oh, him sure. dinner. Tell him, tell him he's on a diet. So Jamie Mackey could do with you oh, a little needs, bit of weight. He needs the weight now for going around Christmas week. night. It could be very cold. Uh, Jeanette. And with Happy, the Christmas. Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. Um, Angela says she loves to see you wearing the cork colours. Oh, way out <laughs> Up, the rebels. Up the rebels. <laughs> okay, so first things first is everybody has to learn how to make the bowl. So in your wreath making kit, we sent out a selection of bowls. Now, I'm not going to get through all the ribbons tonight, but we'll get through as many of them as we possibly can. So the red seems to be popular, so I want to start with a red um, wreath tonight. So this is our red velvet velour. So what you do is you wrap the ribbon as if you were wrapping it around your neck. So that's the handiest way to kind of describe it, as if you were putting a scarf around your neck and you're going to cross it under your chin. And you can decide how big or how small you want to make that bow. Now where my hand is wiggling, my thumb, this is what we call the back of the bow. And here is going to be the front of the bow. At the moment, Judith and Tracy now are all over the shop. Are they? Get the bow sorted. <laughs> okay, so take your time. I'll do this two or three times, Judith. And who's it? Tracy. Judith and They're Tracy. Up the okay. Is that's not Judith? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, Judith. Oh, Judith. Oh, Jesus. And just now, hang on a second. Um, Santi has just literally sent a message there, and he says there's a Sean up in Terenure. Okay. Um, he thinks it's around. Um, Oh, park something or Waynesford, one of the Waynesford's roads, uh, Sean, and he says he should be in bed. He should be in bed. Maybe, Santi, give a shout out there and tell Sean to get into bed. Oh, ho, ho, Sean, Sean, are you still up? No, Sean, are you listening? Santi is listening, he is. So we have the back of the collar is brought into the front of the collar. Can you see the way you get that sort of a shape? And the easiest thing to do is turn it on the side. And I often say it looks like a number eight, like a figure eight. And what you're going to do then, in the middle of the number eight, you can describe it as a little pleat, a little gather, a bit of a squash, a bit of a squeeze, a bit of a gather. In other words, put it all in there into the centre as thin as you can. And then the florist ribbon that we sent out to you, you can tear that into skinny little strips 
And what you're going to do then is you're going to tie a little piece of ribbon around it. Now Judith has a friend there to help her, so she could always say to the friend to tie the double knot. Otherwise, I have to use my chest here, and then you're going to tie a knot, you're going to pull it really, really tight, and then you're going to tie a second knot. Now, Paul Kinsler is up in Walkinstown, and he's watching him with Susan and Sharon, and I don't see any bowls being made. All no I see bowls being made. All you can see is drinks. So listen, uh, Santi, give Paul Kinsler a shout there and tell him he wants to start making his bowls, he would. So listen, huge thanks to Paul and um, his mum and um, his cousin Sharon. And I think there's a Jeff there as well that's going to be joining in. Have you got the other scissors? there so Jeff is going to be joining in I think he's a friend of their mums and um, he's going to make a wreath tonight so you can see the end of the ribbon there where you're able to fancy it off and I just see we have people coming in from I can't pronounce that country Uruguay Uruguay Uruguay, Uruguay. England Scotland and America and so guys we actually to... have it now We've, we're up at the 250 mark on Facebook let's That's try and hit the 300 now so there. what you can all do so the 250 people that are watching us at the moment will you all click share and like as I said we're going to have lots and lots of giveaways and if you can click share we can build up these numbers now again for anybody in their kit that maybe got this kind of like check ribbon you're going to do exactly the same thing you're going to pretend that you're wrapping it around somebody's neck Okay, crossing it under their chin because this is a bit floppy. There we go, get back up there. <laughs> so then you're going to bring the back of the bow into the front. Can you see like that effect there? And again, I'm going to do that same effect whether you call it a pleat, a gather, a scrunch, a squeeze, a gather, a pucker. Get it in there as tight as you possibly can. And then with a skinny piece of the florist ribbon. So I sent everybody out two, three meters of that florist ribbon. You can cut it into, you know, a less than a meter length and it just tears really easy. And these are the green strings that we're going to use then to tie your bows onto your wreath. So it does not look like a nice one there. But I sent out lots and lots of different, um, as I said, selections. Like there's a gorgeous shoe. This would nearly make a scarf for Santi himself. Cross so we have like the zoomers are flying with the bows now. Brilliant. She, so Jeanette's a bit on the slow side, in fairness. Okay. Rachel is. Oh, she's cutting her ribbon. She's doing very well. Um, I see a little bit of something going on out there with Paul. Judith and Callum, or, or Judith and Tracy, are absolutely flying it now at the moment. Well, you see, Judith was here last year, so she's probably in the advanced. She's on the group. advanced. She's class. on the advanced group. You know that we, we have got a few beginners here today. I think Karen and Paul are having a row over the bows at the moment. <laughs> I think we had Sarah and Mary were making their reach the other night and I think it caused nearly a family row over the bowls. So they decided to settle the argument that they would go on to YouTube and to who pops up on YouTube only myself, you know that way. So it still, it still didn't sort out the row for the bowls. But in saying that, when they posted their photograph of their door wreath on Instagram, it was absolutely amazing it was. So again, you can see there's like a velvet kind of a lorry bow. So we're getting lots and lots of shares there. Ben is just telling me there that he's getting lots of shares. So really, we really appreciate that. And thanks a million. So I think you probably want to have a little bit of a giveaway, Deirdre. Do you? I think we have. We should. Um, okay, so what have we got? We have five platforms here. So we're going to give away five courses. Okay. And on each course, or on each thing we're going to ask um, what's the question going to be who is what, what what is the question going to be now that was something we didn't plan come on no we didn't plan what's the question going to be what was the song when santi arrived what was the song that was playing now all the children should know that one it's a very very popular one it's santi's favorite song isn't it maybe santi you might start singing it there in the background so on the zoom we're things. going to give it to the fifth right answer on so, facebook instagram we're going to give it to the 20th right answer and on youtube we're going to give we're going to randomly pick we've 18 people watching on youtube well we done youtube we're building up our youtube santi can you remember the song oh jingle bell yeah, jingle so. bell jingle all the way right, so to down, tie your, re your ribbon on you're going count to use 20. these two green strings and you basically just tie around the wreath frame and the easiest thing to do is turn the wreath frame upside down on the table and then you can tie a knot at the back now I know the wreath frame is going to get, or the bow is going to get a little bit flattened, but we can fix that in a minute. I'm tying a double knot. I'm going to cut off then, sorry, my knot is going loose. I'm going to cut off the strings that are left over. And then, there you go. There is our bow that tied on to the bottom of the wreath. And you see the way then you can move it around and you can put your fingers inside the bow then to kind of like fluff it up. Now your next thing then is to open up the bag of tricks. So when you open up your bag just of before tricks, you go, we're just yeah. going to check in with the zoomers and is everybody happy with their bow? Can they make their bow? Have they got it made? 
Are you getting a thumbs up? Thumbs up, no. get the thumbs up. Do you think John? What's the story? She's just drinking the wine. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Mina, that's another no, Mina. That's, that's another Mina. Um, Caroline, have you got your bow made yet? Anne Marie mm. and Fiona, I love your hat. It's gorgeous. Fiona has a lovely Santi hat on her. Fair play to you all for making the effort. And we are going to have a giveaway for the best Christmas jumper as well. So make sure that you get ready to take a selfie. So in some people's kits, we included some of these kind of velvet poncettia flowers. Now they're on a nice strong stem, so these will go down into the frame really, really easy. So just to show you, like, you know, when you get the stem, you stick it right down through the frame, and you see the way the stem comes out through the other end. And to secure it in place, what you're going to do is make a U-bend, see like a letter U, and then you're going to stick the U-bend back up into the frame, and that secures down the poncetti in place. So these are really easy to do. Now you'll find like the more you drink, the better you get a stick in the wires through, okay? So take a good sup of coke there, or whatever you happen to be drinking, cup of tea even will do. And as I said, get your poncettias if that's what's in your kit. I'll show you lots of other materials because I know some people particularly picked the silk, the the silver ones, or the gold ones, or the blush ones, or the champagne ones. So we've lots and lots of different selections. And I am going to try and do a couple of wreaths here this evening. So also in your kit, you had some pine cones. Now make sure that you have the 20 gauge wires that I included, and that's what you're going to use to wire up the pine cones. So what you do is you get the wire, you insert it between the pedals of the cones, and you leave about three or four centimeters sticking out. And then what you do is with the long piece of wire, you feed it in between the petals of the cone all the way around until it literally meets the other piece of wire that you left sticking out. And then with the tops of your fingers, you give it one or two twists and stop. Now I know some people will be a little bit OCD and they'll feel that they need to um, keep twisting that wire, but it's really important that you don't because your fingers will get sore. So place the wire in between the petals down low, leave a little bit sticking out, the long piece of wire, wrap it around in between the petals till it comes around and it meets the other piece of wire sticking out. And then you're going to give it two twists of your fingers, stop, and that's a word. Now included in everybody's kit, we added in six cones. But we had two girls making up the boxes and I kind of found they were struggling adding up to six. <laughs> so Juliana and Leah, so to make it easy for them so there'd be no mistakes, I said put seven cones in to be on the safe side. So you did need six cones, but chances are you have seven cones in your kit. How are they going on wearing the yeah, cones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand. Again, if there's any questions, especially the girls that are, I even people watching on the Facebook and the Instagram, any questions or if you need me to show you anything up close again, just put it in the comments or in the chat box and we'll get back to you. So I have a couple of these cones wired up. Now again, just to show you, you pick a spot on your wreath, the wire goes down through the frame, so you just poke it through there until it comes through the other side. So there's the wire coming through the other side. And then what you're going to do is make a U-bend with the wire and stick it back up into the frame. And once your wire is secured, you're able to manoeuvre the cone and you can say, you go in there or you go in close and it's up to yourself. And you can kind of like jiggle and jaggle the cone around and make it sit exactly where you want it to go. Now what I find it easier to do is to bring the wreath frame over the edge of the table. And so then what I'm doing is I'm sticking the wire in and then this hand here is in underneath. It's feeling the wire coming through the other side. It's making the little U-bend and it's sticking it back up into the frame. So I often say to the students, now you might like this name, I call this the gynecology hand. It doesn't need to be looking at what it's doing. It feels its way around there, it finds that wire, it makes the little U-bend and it sticks it back up into the base. So what I'm doing is I'm adding in, I've five of the cones added in so far. Jeez, Anne Marie is flying on Zoom. She is nearly she? has it finished. Oh, she must have watched, she must, she must watched the preview. Well. <laughs> she must have watched the preview. So I'm going to add in my seventh right, cone. Right, right. So now Santa, um, I see James Murphy is looking, Rathmore is looking for Santi to say hello to him. So there you go, Santi. You bring, give, give a big shout out there to James. James Murphy in Port Arlington. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hello, James. How are you? Hey. you? I hope you've been a good boy because I'm getting good reports here from your parents. Oh, there you go, James. So what's James looking for off oh, Santi, I wonder? Has he wrote his letter? Um, Amanda is just on. She said she got eight cones. Eight cones. <laughs> I told you, you can't get good staff nowadays. I tell you, that, I don't know whether it was. I think the two of them done their leaving cert, but I think it was this year when they just got the pass, was it? Or they didn't have to really sit the leaving cert. Definitely Juliana, anyway, didn't sit the leaving cert this year. So again, in your kit, you may have got a couple of these little glittery picks. 
And again, the stem on them just go, basically goes right down into your base, where the stem comes out the other end, and then like your little stem, you make a little hook on it, and you stick it back up into the base. Now again, you can see, I'm not following any pattern at all. I'm just kind of like randomly sticking the material down into the base. And you know, sometimes that's the best way to make these wreaths, where sometimes you people get kind of hepped up about it, and they're trying to make things really, really even, and it doesn't work out for them, and then you get upset. If there's any little tags, Pull off all your little tags. Obviously, we bought them in the wholesalers, so there's going to be little tags. Avril is saying that you, you make it look so easy. I know they are easy. Now, also, maybe some people got some little baubles in their kit, okay? Again, you could always take a couple of baubles off the Christmas tree. So, you know the little crown at the top, where normally the little ribbon to hang it on the Christmas tree? All you do is you get a wire, you stick it through the little crown, you bend it over, so again, you have that short little bit of wire, and again, you can wind that around, and that will hold your wire onto your bauble. So I have two baubles here, so I'm going to wire up the two baubles and then I'm going to position them into the wreaths using the exact same system. Okay, I think we need new staff for next year because Gail Doherty got 10 cones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd say Juliana's name was on that box, on that case as well. I um, you, okay. you just can't get good staff, you can't. We have our winners. Where am I have to put my diet book now that the winner's in? Here we go. So okay, just so call it the our winner of the course, and what we're going to ask you to do is drop us an email, a DM, a PM, whatever, any sort of thing. Um, and I'll send you the link for the free course. Anne-Marie on Zoom. That's Anne-Marie. I think I've only got one Anne-Marie anyway, so let me just double check. Okay, so if um, there's two Anne-Marie's, we're not going to argue. No, we won't argue. <laughs> on Instagram, Regina Collins, okay. you're the winner. On so Facebook, on Facebook, our winner is Cherry Perkins. And I think Cherry oh, is Cherry, in yeah, South Africa. Is she here? Oh, I actually think she's in the UK. I think is she, she is. I think she's in the UK. Um, and YouTube, we will pick. It's just I can't see the YouTube comments when we're live. So I will pick somebody and send you. And I'll comment underneath your post for to give you the prize. Now, again, just to show you so far, can you see just the little decorations going through it? Now, just to show something a little bit different, these are little novelty ideas. So if there's any kids, they normally love these. So I have like a little reindeer. So would you say that's Rudolph, Santi? Oh, that's Rudolph, definitely. That's is. definitely Rudolph. Oh, maybe so, it could be Prancer. Could be I'm Prancer. Not really sure. Don't know. Now, it's hard to tell it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up an arm, around, sorry, a wire around Prancer's arm. And then I'm going to wrap one around his other arm. This will stop him running away anyway. Could be Dancer, could catch it around his legs, stop him dancing. So there you can see our little reindeer has a wire, you see coming out of each of his arms. And what I'm then going to do is one wire is going to go into one side of the base and then secure it in underneath, making that little U-bend. And then the other wire will go to the other side. And again, that will secure our little prancer, our dancer, or whatever, whichever brother or sister he is, into the centre of our wreath. And it just makes a little nod of the idea that it's just something a little bit different in the centre of your region. Now, okay, again, Annalise is watching in from BC in Canada. Dawn says you make it look so easy. Olga is watching in from Derry, isn't it? Olga, how are you? Olga, um, Olga oh, Therese is, is watching in from Canada. And oh, how are you, Therese? How are you? And her friend... Is no, I think it's her mum-in-law, mom isn't it? Your mum-in-law is in London. I wonder if she watching tonight. She is. I know she got her kit... And um, she was delighted to get the kit she was. Teresa organised that all the way from Canada. And Santi, you dropped that over last week. I Sunday. did, absolutely. Did you, Santi delivered that to him, she did. So a lot of people were asking me about doing a wreath for a grave, okay? And I, I, people say to me, do you do anything different? Now, personally, I love grave wreaths to be fancy as well. I don't kind of set out to make the, gra the grave wreath dull and dismal. I like it to be a little bit fancy. So I'm going to show you an idea that I have here. So this is an organza bow. And what I like about the organza bow is when it rains, it doesn't actually absorb the water. So instead of using one of the cheaper ribbons outside, this is actually a nice one to buy. And you could go into a material shop and buy a metre of organza. So our bow is made already. So I'm going to position our bow onto the base. Now some people like to put a bow at the bottom and some people like to put a bow at the top. So in the previous wreath there, I put the bow at the bottom, but this time I'm going to, going to put the bow at the top, just to make it a little bit different. Not necessarily because it's on a grave. Now, again, Juliana must have counted out the cones this time, because I've about a dozen cones here. Okay, So right. I'm going to go around the wreath, and sometimes I'm going to put a wire to the outside, or a cone to the outside, and sometimes I'm going to bring a cone to the inside. So, Santi, do you want to come back on? And we have a few more little letters there that's just after arriving. Put your hat on there, Santi. So, we have a couple of letters have arrived. Um, how did they get here, Deirdre? 
do, do you know what? I heard a jingle and a jangle, and next minute, in through the window, came all the letters. Oh my and god. This one has actually come from, well, it came from Rudolph or one of the reindeers, and it's for Sean Cullen. And Sean is up the Dublin Mountains. Is he up the Dublin Mountains? He's living Mountains? up the Dublin Mountains. And oh my God. So there's loads of foliage up there. Is there snow up there, I wonder? There's snow, there's snow up the there. Dublin Mountains. And seemingly, um, Rudolph has wrestling stuff. Oh God. I don't know if it's for Sean. But I don't I know. Think he well, you'd have to be really, really good to get wrestling stuff now, you would. You'd have to be really, and really good. And in Leash, we have Aaron and Owen. Oh, and Aaron and Owen names. have been seemingly excellently behaved. Oh, that's brilliant. So and what are they looking for off Santa? Do you I know? don't know. We haven't heard from there what they're looking for. And we've Emma Rose Diamond. Now, Emma Rose is looking for a Zoomer robotic dog. I've never heard of that. A Zoomer robotic I, I suppose Santi knows what yeah, it is. Yeah, I suppose it probably does. So I just hold this up so far. So I've put about a dozen cones onto this wreath, okay? They're all kind of small cones. And personally, like for the grave wreaths, I do like lots and lots of cones on them. And for somebody that was maybe, Santi's just gone, I think, to go to the toilet. I think he is. <laughs> I think all that wreath is running through him there. So there you can see like there's about a dozen cones on that wreath so far with then um, just the organza bowl. But just something to be a little bit different. What I have here are some handmade satin roses. And believe it or not, Mrs. Claus made all these roses, okay? So these roses are all individually made by hand. Now I understand that most of you probably won't be able to do these. But what you could get is some artificial silk roses, you know that way, and you could wire them up. So all I did was, I just undo that wire, was I got a wire, I made a hairpin bend at the top, I rested, oh my God, here's Santi, I better stop. Come in here, Santi. Oh, 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 Jesus, where oh, were oh. you, Santi? I was just checking on all the little boys, making sure they were all being good. Oh, and there was none of them sitting on the naughty step. Oh, God, no. None of the, see, all their mammies all came to Case Flair School. Oh. So we have excellent students, you know that way. And they're well trained because I give them a good kick in the ass if they're messing. Oh, so my I God. say they take no, no messing off their kids either. So here we have, look, oh, look what that young one is looking for. Caitlin Diamond. Caitlin Diamond looking for, look at, for a TV. A TV. My Jeez, God, she must have Matt? been a very good girl. Oh, I'd say she must have been exceptionally oh, absolutely. good. absolutely. They'd be very expensive. And how are you finding it with the pandemic and the quarantine? Were you still able to get all the toys this oh, year? Oh, all the little people are all two metres apart. Are they? I, I just, I had to change all the tables, get all three of the tables. Because <laughs> right, all the elves are small anyway. Well, a small table too. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's another letter there. Who's this? Here we come. TJ from Limerick. Oh, TJ! I remember him from last year. Look, How are you, TJ? And his he? little brother. His little brother. Don't know what his little brother's name is. Jalen. Oh, Jalen. Hello, oh, Jalen. How are you? Jalen's only age trick. Oh, look, Jalen is doing potty training. Oh, at the moment. that's a good boy. And he loves potty. I hope he has a good aim. I hope <laughs> he has a good aim. I hope he had a better aim than you had, Santi. Oh, I tell you. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, like Santi wants um. Harley and Isabel want to know, did you get their letter? Now that's Harley Dempsey and Isabel Oh, Dempsey. Harley and... Of course I did. They're down in Cork I, Street, just off oh, Cork Street. Cork Street, I know them well, I know them well, well, yes, yes. There, there used to be a company down there. Do you, do you remember that we had a big, oh, big truck? Oh, that's right. Uh, that was our DC. Boulders. 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 Yes, remember I there? remember them. But as far as I know, their nanny, Eileen, lives around the corner from there. Oh, my God. Oh, what about Lavender? Well, that was, shout out to the Lavender. Hi, Lavender. How are you, you know girls? I say that that's the bloom room. That's the lavender bloom room. The lavender. Hello, dear lavender. How are you? Now hold on. Do you see this family here? There's a load of kids in this family. The Dodrell family. Jeannie Mac. That sounds. That sounds great. Must be a baby making facts yeah, up there. Look at all the kids that you have there. Can you call Nadine? them all names? Nadine. Bradley. I thought Bradley used to be called Bob. <laughs> Well, Bob, Bob for short. Bob oh, for yeah, short. what about Sophie? Has Sophie, Sophie, has Sophie be, been a good girl? Oh, I say Sophie, Sophie, that's a really good name, isn't it? Sophie's oh, a good absolutely. name, absolutely. And Oh, we have a little, baby, a little baby there called Alex, Alex as well. Yes. And how old is Alex? I don't know. I think he's... You should know, Santi. She's your magic. Well, You're supposed to know how old wait, he is. Wait, wait, he's little, he up, baby, and there's baby, one baby. more little girl in that family there. Sarah. Oh, Sophie Sarah. And Sarah. I know, yes, yes. Yeah, I know Sarah. They're just Santa, well. while you're talking away there, I'm just putting in. Do you see the handmade roses? You know Mrs. Claus made all these roses she did for That's me. That's right. During yes, the pandemic. Yes, I... During the pandemic, yes, yeah, she yes, made yes, all yes. these handmade roses. So they're all made with satin. And I think, is there a, a yard of satin used in each rose? 
Not well, okay. Not quite. No, not quite. Just forward. Um, can you remember what width the ribbon was? Because somebody's going to be asking me. 38 millimetres. 38 millimetres is the oh. satin ribbon and it's double sided satin ribbon is what she uses. And it's the colour of my suit as well. It is, well that's why we're doing red. Yes. But you know what, somebody wanted to make have a wreath to put on a grave. Oh. But I didn't want to do something plain because you oh, know me, I like something yes, to be a little bit fancy. Yeah. Nice and cheerful. Nice definitely. and cheerful because yes. at the end of the day in heavenly in heavenly Christmas, you know that way, oh, you absolutely. still like things to be really, really oh, nice. Oh absolutely. Have you any more shout outs there for Santi, have you? Let me see. Joy, Joy and Artie Robinson. Oh, hello, Joy and, and Artie. How are you? I wonder where they're living. Oh, what? And did you get Kate and Laurie's letter? Kate and Laurie's, I'll have to. Oh, yes, I do. I, I remember Kate. Yes, yes. You probably. remember them, Kate? Laurie and Sullivan, do you remember? I know. And you know, I think she had a birthday yesterday. I, and I wonder how old she is. 21 plus the bat. 21 plus the bat. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Maureen. How are you? And hold on. Who else have you got there? A Morgan Carroll in Sandyford. Now, I think it's his sister that can't count. Oh, that's the one they put on there. They put yeah. on the wrong number. No wonder we're going. No wonder we are going broke. Abs no wonder we're going broke. Absolutely. No wonder we're going broke. So to make this wreath, have you ever seen this ribbon, Santi? No, I haven't seen no, that. No, Christmas not. remembrance. Oh, so this is a little ribbon that you can buy in your local florist, okay? And what you can do is you can wire it and you can put it across your wreath. And this just makes it a little bit different. So as I said, this would be my kind of like a little bit more upmarket wreath for a grave. But like if you just wanted to keep it with the pine cones, it'd be absolutely fine. Jeanette, what? My, my drink is going cold. If your drink is going cold, it's going warm, you mean. It's going warm. Are you coming back for a few I'll more I'll be back shows? later on, yeah. No problem, Santi. Sit down there anyway. So what we're doing is on either end of the Loving Christmas Remembrance ribbon is we're gathering it in and then using the wire and making what we call the hairpin bend and we're wrapping the wire around and again to get it to sit neat on the wreath if you just kind of open out the creases like that and do exactly the same on the other end so can you see the way the, the ribbon has the, a wire on either side of it and what I'm going to do then is bring that across the wreath. So, we had any questions there, Deirdre? How are they all getting on? No, no questions. How's the Zoom class getting on? The Zoom class are actually doing very well. Are they? Um, we'd love to see. Hold up your reads, guys, up to the camera and let's see what stages they're at. Oh, well, Karen, you're flying it. That's actually a lovely one. It's gorgeous. Oh, Jesus, Jeanette Dunn is lovely. She's no bow on it yet, so she must be struggling yeah, with the bow. Struggling bowls. with the bow. Does she need me to Rachel do the bow again? Is flying. Absolutely looks gorgeous. Um, Orla, turn it around again, Orla. You've only got the pine cones on. Get your skates on. <laughs> <laughs> she must be doing um, more drinking. She must be keeping up with Sandy. Judith is and Tracy, let's see your wreaths. Where are you at? Um, so, uh, there's somebody uh, you have your reach up and it's gorgeous, but your name is Galaxy Tab A. That's a funny so, name. I don't know what your actual <laughs> Now again, just to show you there what the wreath looks like, to see what the In Loving Christmas Remembrance. Now if you want to make a little handle on these, like for carrying, what you can do is using the ribbon that I put into your kit, okay? You can undo this ribbon up, here we go, just open it out, and you can make a length of it. So whether you want to make a handle for the wreath grave so that you can carry it to the grave, okay? So I'm just hooking the ribbon around the base, you see, like that, and then tying the two ribbons together in a double knot. And I'm going to go back to the door wreaths now in a few minutes. Well, it's just because we had a couple of requests. I just said here, I do a grave wreath and just let people see how it goes. I'm just going to move that back so we have our knot is kind of like hidden. And there you have your grave wreath with your loving Christmas remembrance going across it. Anne Marie wants to know, should you water the wreath when um, it's up on your door? To be honest, once it's kept cool, it's absolutely fine. So if it's outside, it's in the porch, it'll be grand. If you wanted to mist it with a little bit of water, it wouldn't do it any harm at all. Now, what I'm going to send you left to sell here. I decided then that our next street we're going to do, we're going to go a little bit flashy. Now I know we're all in the red here tonight, but you do know our favourite colour is pink. So here I have a wreath and what I have is some kind of um, organza in the cerise pink. So we're just going to open this out, kind of smooth it out just to get our creases out of it. Okay, and so then, a sec, do this slow now. Jeanette has a ribbon in her hand, so now she needs to, she's going to try the bow at the same okay. time. So okay, so this is for Jeanette or Judith? No, Jeanette. Okay, yeah. now it's not me, Jeanette, it's another Jeanette. So what you do is pretend that 
you're wrapping the ribbon around your neck and you're crossing it under your chin. But in real life, you have to pretend that you're wrapping around somebody else's neck and crossing it under their chin. And you can adjust it, you know, that way. Do you want like a bigger neck or a smaller neck or do you want longer tails or shorter tails? So if Bernie wants to know, can she replay this video afterwards? You can, Bernie. If you sh click share, so go and click share now, it'll immediately go to your own page on Facebook and then you'll be able to watch it. But I was surprised for you all at the end. Santi has a surprise for you. It's for everybody. For everybody, everybody in the audience. audience, okay? So what you then do with the bow is you grab the back of it and you bring it into the front. Can you see like that? Yeah, and I'm that's how you make the bow. I'm going to say to Jeanette, put your hand in between the two bits that's hanging down, the two legs. Put your hand in. Yeah, that's it. Now you have there it. There we go. <laughs> and then you can tie it with the skinny strings. Remember the green ribbons that we showed you earlier on? Or if you want to, sometimes I find it easier, is to actually wrap a wire around the centre of it. And then squeeze the wire together at the back. Wrap one wire around the other and that secures it. And then you can go back and you can kind of fancy that out or open out the organza as wide as you want. And then the little tails on it, I'm going to cut them. I'm going to pretend I'm a hairdresser and I'm going to cut across and just make them a little bit shorter. So again with your wreath, you have to decide do you want the bow at the top or the bottom. So I'm going to put it at the bottom this time. Okay, Karen and Pauline. Uh, they're having a little bit of difficulty with a bunch of collie and the toadstools. The, st the stalk is thick and difficult to twist. Is there a trick in getting it into the reef? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to say that slow now, you know that way. <laughs> say that again, Deirdre. It's so the stalk is what? Thick and, and what? difficult to twist. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe just leave the toadstool out for the moment. <laughs> Uh, we'll find a little toadstool now in a second and we'll show you. It's one of the like, picks. It's one of the picks. Yeah. Do you know what? Is, I'll, I'll find one now and I'll show you. So again, I just have a smaller kind of like little organza bow that I had made already. And I'm just going, it's just it's another shade of pink. And I'm just going to place it on top of the darker pink. And again, it's just to be nice and flashy and nice and blingy just in the centre there. So again, I'll just hold this up now and just let you see what our wreath looks with the bow on it. So because I posted a photograph there last week um, it's actually Roisin Dunn, so I'm not sure if she's watching, but she lives on the South Circle Road and she has a pink hall door. And I made a pink wreath and I brought it up and I hung it on her door and I was doing it for a photo shoot and it was gas like the amount of people that went mad about it. Now for the wreath that I'm doing today, do you remember the, the dark pink um, spray paint I bought in Little and Aldi for the pumpkins? And I sprayed one of the pumpkins. Do you remember dark pink? I think it was called Hot Pink the Ribbon, or the spray was called. Well, I've used the same spray and I sprayed my pine cones hot pink here today. And I also sprayed a couple of the lotus heads, right? So all my cones are wired already. So this is just to kind of like save a little bit of time. And again, for somebody that wants a little bit of cheering up, I could imagine that this wreath here would cheer anybody up. So anybody okay, Jackie Nealon wants to know, could you say hello to James Nealon McDonald, who's very proud of his nanny after getting her cert. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? So a big, big hello to James Nealon, because he has the best, best granny in the world. She was the, now, in saying that, James, she used to be talking in the class some of the times, and I had to give out to her. But I tell you, when I put her outside the door for a few minutes, and I wouldn't let her have any sweets, she stopped talking, and then she became the best student in the class. So I'm delighted you're so proud of her. So I'm just sticking in a couple of these. I think Michelle Walsh now, they're having a drinking competition. At the Are they? Is that the Michelle Walsh with Fiona Ball and Adrian? Is it? I don't know. There's two of them. The only Michelle Walsh is on the camera. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far then with our Cerise Pink Pine Cones. I know it's not going to be everybody's taste. But as I said, I'm going to do a selection here tonight. And again, our Lotus Heads. So give us the thumbs up if you're liking the Cerise Pink. So again, we have our Cerise Pink Baubles. Now, I've seen Paul Kinsler had some posts up. Follow Paul Kinsler over on Instagram, life at number two. He does amazing arts and crafts and DIY. And if there's any bargains in Mr. Price and Mrs. Price as well, and Mr. deals Beals. and home base and the whole lot, you can be sure um, Paul Kinsler will have the bargains up on his page. And like he's at the moment he's showing you how to do personalised coasters, which would make a fabulous present to give to somebody. And for those of you that are on Zoom, you'll see Paul. He's waving into the camera right now. Come on, Paul, who's a wave? Paul, mm -hmm. Susan and Sharon. That's Paul okay, Kinsler, so like at number two. So is he not on Facebook tonight? No, he's on Instagram. Well, he's probably on Instagram, but he's on Zoom okay. as well. Okay, so maybe afterwards he might do a little bit of a selfie. Is he wearing his Christmas? 
Christmas jumper, is he? Uh, he did an apron on him anyway. Oh, right. Oh, we're, oh, we have. Oh, it's a Christmas apron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Sharon has, or Susan has one as well. Fair play to you, Susan. And now, Susan, do you remember last year Susan was here? She was legless. She, that's right. She was legless She last came year. up the stairs on crutches and she danced down the stairs at the end of the class. So I don't know whether it was the pine cones or it was the three bottles of wine she drank when she was here. But anyway, she was legless <laughs> again the end of the night. So what I'm just showing you here then is again, I'm randomly putting in these cerise pink. This is really, really flashy, isn't it? Again, I'll just hold it up there just to kind of give you an idea. So just randomly putting in our cerise pink um, baubles in and, out, in and out through it. Now also what I have to be a little bit different, we have these little signs that said Merry Christmas. And sure, I was like the demon barber with the tin of spray, so I've sprayed it cerise pink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a wire around either side of it, so I'll do it around the letter C here first. So again, a hairpin bend and a wrap around. We've lots of love for the pink wreath, Ben is saying, so people are obviously loving it. I do completely, like you won't offend me by saying you hate it, but we have a pink hall door downstairs, so I think definitely we put this on air to hall door downstairs. And we have a photographer coming out tomorrow to take photographs. Absolutely. So, um, are we allowed to say the name? Or? I, yeah, I don't see why yeah. not. So, Barbara Power, who writes for the Irish Independent, she actually contacted us today, and the Irish Independent is coming out to us tomorrow to take our photographs, so we're really looking forward to that. We're very famous at the moment, because we were in the Irish Times last weekend, and we're on Nationwide next week, you know that way, so it's brilliant. Yes, it absolutely. So what I'm going to do is our Merry Christmas sign, it's going to go across, you see the centre of our wreath, so it's the same effect as the way I put the Rudolph in the centre of one of the wreaths, or I put the um, Loving Christmas Remembrance. Somebody's asking, do we wear the apple slices? We do, and I'm going to do a fruity one with you next, and I'll show you exactly how to wear the apple slices. So how many wreaths have you? This is your third one, is this it? This is my third one. Actually, we're going really We're doing well. flying. Okay, so we have Liam and Anya and Luke and Adam and Amelia from Tipperary, and they're watching in, and that's love from their Granny Mary. Oh, Granny Mary. So what's the names again? Liam, Anya, Luke, Adam, and Amelia. Okay, big, big, big hello to you all. And Sandy there, give them a big ho, 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 ho there. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Luke. There you go. Absolutely. And he had a couple of brothers and sisters he had there. So again, I'm hanging a little ribbon around this wreath here just to hold it. And again, this could be hanged, as I often say to the students, this is so you can hang it out your knockers when you go home, you know that way. But command hooks seem to be the way forward. And lots of people are posting up where they're able to buy the command hooks. Tesco's, Lidl, Aldi, Mr. Price, Mrs. Price, Home Base, where else, Deirdre? Um, Euro savers. Lenahan's. Somebody Lenahan's, said it somebody today. Lenahan's, we were exactly. doing an event and they said Lenahan's today. So here's our cerise pink wreath. You know what I mean? Again, ready to hang on your door. And um, I'm now going to move on to what we call a tutti fruity one. Okay, so just before you do on that, yeah, one. Um, Santi actually got a message from some teacher. What was the teacher you got a message from, Santi? Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, how are you? Uh, Mrs. Muldoon. Mrs. Muldoon? Oh, did you, do you know Mrs. Muldoon? I heard of a Mrs. Muldoon. Well, I she's, heard a, about... she's a teacher down in Sligo. Yeah, what part of Sligo? Oh, it's called, um, um, what's it called? Uh, Clooney. Clooney in Caluni Sligo. In Sligo. Oh, Mrs. Muldoon. And, she and does... is she a nice teacher? Oh, she's a very nice teacher. Oh. Because, I, you know what? What? There was a little boy told me, yeah. what was his name? I think it was Dara. Dara? Dara told me that she's the nicest teacher in, in Cluny. Yeah, it's in And Cluny. Sligo. And the whole of Sligo. And Ireland. And Ireland. Absolutely, she's the best ever. So I'd like a big wave to Mrs. Cluny. Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Mrs. Yes, Cluny. I was only joking. Mrs. Muldoon, how are you? Hello, Dara. I hope that teacher is looking after you very well. Bye bye now, and I will talk to you later. Have you any more messages from Sligo? We have, have we've another one from Ashling. Ashling, Ashling. And she's looking for a computer. Yeah. Oh. Ashling is looking. Boy, God, that's yeah, she'd want to be very good. She'd want to be very good. Does she? Does she play music? She used to play music, I think. Oh, I think she plays the violin. Yes, I think she plays the violin. Plays the violin. There yes, you go. there you are. Hello, Ashley. How are you? And I hope if you're a good girl. And uh, you do the messages for your mommy and clean up all the house and all that like that. 
That's it. You may get your computer. Oh, you're very, very good, Santi. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so go over and have another little drink there, Thank Santi. You. Now don't get too drunk on us, okay? Bernie Gallagher wants to know when are we on nationwide? The 16th of December, and um, I think it's at seven o'clock in the evening, isn't it? Yeah, it's usually on after the news, provided nothing happens in between that. Yeah. So once the COVID numbers don't go up. <laughs> so for this wreath, um, so keep into what the tutti fruity, because I know some of you actually specifically want it, like the tutti fruity one. So I'm going to use a little bit of purple organza, and again I'm making the same bow. Has that one, Jeanette, got the bow at this stage? Has she? Oh, she I think she to, has. She she's she's to the bow. Oh, she's flying there. She's, she's flying on the second one now. The bow sometimes and the pine cones is probably one of the harder things to wear, and then she, once you get them sorted, you'll be absolutely flying. So again, decide do you want your bow at the top of your wreath? are at the bottom of your meat. Now for this wreath, why I picked the purple was we have these blueberries. So they're artificial blueberries. So just pulling our little tags off there. And again, they're on a stem. So do you remember the girl that was asking about the thick stick and she couldn't get it into the, the spruce base? This is the sort of stem, right? So what you're just going to do, bring it over the edge of the table and then give it a good prod, okay? And it'll go down into it. Now, because it is short, I do understand it is a little short stem. Do you see that comes through? Just get the smallest little U-bend and stick it back up into the frame and that will secure your pick or your mushrooms, or in my case, my little berries in place. So you'll see now in a second the way the colour of the blueberries is going to complement the colour of the organza and that's why I went for kind of that purple in case somebody was wondering, oh, that's an unusual colour to put. There was actually a girl here today and she was collecting her kit and she was going for the tutti fruity and I said, listen, there's a little bit of purple tull. Um, what was her I name? Fiona, she's in, she's on. Is it Fiona? Yeah, it was Fiona. Fiona. That's right. Fiona. Yeah, Fiona. Thumbs up. Can't remember the story. McCarney. McCarney, that's right. So that's this, I'm just showing you there, Fiona, that's how the purple tull will work. But chances are in your kit there was the organza, or not the organza, the um, hessian ribbon, okay? Now that's if Juliana did this kit right and she put the right colours into it. Seeing she made an arse of it. Brilliant. Gorgeous. So again, just do the organza bow then, and or sorry, the hessian bow, and making the same effect. You see, just kind of like gathering it in in the centre. And what I'm going to do is place the hessian bow on top of the purple organza bow. And again, it's just kind of like picking up your shades, but yet it's keeping very, very nice. Natural. And Marie said with the um, the picks, she's cut them and rewired them. And That's a them good in. idea. Well, That's well, actually Marie. a very good idea there. So we have Olivia Mulholland said this is her favourite type read. Oh, that's brilliant, Olivia. Yeah, it's kind of one of these things you either like kind of bling, and that's why I've kind of went tried to do this evening is do kind of a selection. So this one, as I said, is going to be the all naturels, and then we have the Christmas kind of traditional and I see, one. Um, there's another girl, and she's also called Galaxy Tab A. Okay, but, so that's a funny name. <laughs> My name is. I wonder but, is that uh, Galaxy Nails across the road. No, 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 no. It's it's, it's the name of her phone. Okay. Galaxy Tab. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> um, but she also has the berries. I'm looking at her here now. Karen and Pauline said we got the toadstools on. Thank you. Brilliant. Um, Galaxy Tab. I think that's the other Galaxy Tab said that well done. She loves it and her mama's loving it. Ah, oh, brilliant. So I'm glad you're enjoying. It. And did they like Santi? Did they did they write their letters to Santi? Oh, I don't know. Now whether they their letters written to Santi. So De Ben is saying there are a couple of people are loving the purple. Very now, very concentrating an awful lot now to try and fix that. Whatever she's. What do you make? What do you, oh, you're fixing your Ponsetti, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wired up a couple of pine cones, and what I'm now going to do is in and out between them purple picks is I'm going to add the pine cones. So sometimes I add the pine cone towards the outside, and sometimes I kind of add it towards the inside. Rather than where you'll see some people keep everything in a dead straight line going around in a circle, so if you kind of zigzag them in and out, it looks much more natural. I think it's time for a giveaway, Deirdre. I think it is. What about the Christmas jumper? So on the Zoom, I know you can see what they're wearing. Yeah. But what about in the comments? Now, Ben is watching the laptop there for the Facebook. And who's watching Instagram there? I am. Well, you can post a photograph on Instagram. All oh, right. Okay. Us in it, like so listen, on. should you just say something nice and we'll just pick a name, right? So anybody that's on Facebook. I know. What we do? What is Jeanette's favourite Christmas song? <laughs> I thought we were going to post a photograph their jumper. Well, they can still do that. Oh, right. on Instagram, they can. Oh, on Instagram. Oh, yeah. So, Instagram. What's, what, was me, what was my favourite song? Yeah, Christmas song. What is my favourite Christmas song? <laughs> you have to write it down. I thought you were going to say, what's my favourite colour? That would have been an easy Okay, but there you go. What's our favourite colour? Uh, okay, let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. We don't want anybody getting stressed over it. So, on 
Zoom, we're going to, I want to see all your Christmas jumpers, guys. So this is what it looks like so far with the pine cones. So we have about eight or ten pine cones there, and I have four purple picks with just a ribbon. Now what I'm going to do is add in some of the orange slices and the apple slices. So you can do these individually or in twos. So just overlap them slightly if you're going to do them in twos. Stick the wire right through one side until it comes out through the other. One. Okay, now we have winners. We have oh, your winners anyway. already? Yeah. Okay. They're all Bending them over in half. Well, then you have to nearly give one to them all, will I you? Think we will. <laughs> now, Jeanette, oh, hang on. Sean has a gorgeous Christmas jumper on, so we'll allow for that one now instead of Jeanette not having a Christmas jumper. And who's Sean? Sean is up in Terranura. He's still not in bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does she want Santi to talk to? Maybe he wants to talk to Santi Sa himself. Does Sean want to talk to Santi? <laughs> All gone no, quiet. He's, coming over, he's coming over. Come on, Santi, come over here there. Because no, Sean wants not, to know no, he's, 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 he's gone shy. Okay, yes. Judith, you definitely have won for your Christmas jumper. Fabulous. Has Tracy got one on as well? <laughs> no? Okay, <laughs> you don't win. Okay, so Judith, so you have to message us, okay, and what we'll do is we'll send you a link for the free Christmas course where you can learn how to do five more displays. So whether it be what we've got dining room table arrangements, dining room mantelpiece, mantelpiece arrangements, yeah, Christmas beautiful. hat boxes, there's lots and lots of different designs and they're all step by step. And um, I think also there's some Christmas wreaths on it as well, so for anybody that maybe has missed the Christmas wreaths or wants to see things in a little bit of a slower Okay, detail. Avril has a gorgeous snowman Christmas jumper on, so, so definitely she's going to win the prize as well. well. And Michelle and whoever's with Michelle, you have actually, Michelle, your friend's jumper, I love it. So and what about on Facebook, Ben? Is anybody posting any photographs? Nobody's posting any photographs. Very well, quiet, Ben. Don't. No, nobody's posting any photographs. Okay, so they're all very shy over on Facebook there. Um, so, so guys, anyone with your Christmas jumper on? Fiona sends a message. Avril sent me a message. Karen, have you a Christmas jumper? Well, your mom has a nice red jumper, so I think she can message me. <laughs> <laughs> Anything red and a, bit, a little bit of bling on it, that's going to count. So this is what it's looking like so far. Can you see what the orange slice is going through it? So just have it upside down for you. And now I'm going to add in a couple of the apple slices. So everyone is saying my favourite colour. Oh, that's right. So that was... So on Instagram, it's isn't it? But obviously the Facebooks don't want to post the photographs. So okay. We go for that. Sure. Listen, let's keep it The 20th simple. answer, yeah. So pick the 20th answer there about you. So Ben, you pick that for me. And it's... And our... you can count to 20. You can pick two or three names, Ben. Keep it simple. It doesn't matter. <laughs> In case you're anything like Juliana, the way she couldn't count the codes. <laughs> don't mind. We make allowances. So I'm doing the same thing with the apple slices, is I'm just slightly overlapping them. And you can do them individually if you want to, but just for speed. Sticking the wire through, bending it over, one wire wraps around the other, and there's your apple slices wired. And again, I'm just randomly sitting them in and out through the wreath. It's all about just different textures. What you will find with this wreath is there's a fabulous citrus smell of the, of the orange slices. And then you're getting the spruce, you know what I mean, a fabulous spruce smell. And then I have um, a couple of the cinnamon sticks, and that's going to add kind of like a spicy sort of scent to it. So it'll be really, really interesting. Um, Margaret is watching in from New Zealand, Hi, and Margaret. she says she's loving the class and she loves the purple. Oh, it's okay. a lovely morning here in New Zealand, and she has her door read out, but it's artificial. So she'll have to now go and you do a fresh, one. Make a fresh one. I asked yeah. Sundries on Instagram once to know can they re watch because they're driving home from work and they can't stop to list. They're just listening, but they can't stop. Absolutely It'll be up on can. IGTV um, later on. As soon as we can post it to IGTV, we'll have it up on IGTV. It'll be saved on Facebook, it will be saved on YouTube and Zoom, and um, well, you can watch it on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. Um, For our let me little bundles of cinnamon sticks, all we're doing is we're just bringing a wire in between the bit of ribbon or the bit of straw wrapped around it, folding it over, wrapping one wire around the other, and there's our little cinnamon sticks wire. So I'm now just gonna add them in and out through the reach. Okay, so our winners on Instagram is Virginia MCM. send us a message. Sinead14, send us a message. In good light, send us a message and the last one is lisa q 78 send us a message so you've all won a christmas video you have so a christmas online tutorial send us an email send us a message and we'll get the link off to you probably be tomorrow now when we it'll be tomorrow it will be yes because the about the wine will be opening very soon <laughs> over on facebook adele kohler is that how we spell it spell it, uh, yeah. it. jackie horan and dennis denise ward or woods Denise Woods, you three are our winners on Facebook. Send us a message and we will um, send you the link to it.
So that's our Christmas um, all natural, um, fruity, fruity, tutti fruity, as I was calling it, up on the website. So that's our reach done. So hopefully that answered the questions for anybody that was unsure then about the apple slices and the orange that's slices. That's actually gorgeous. I love so that. We've done Four wreaths there this evening. So we started off with our kind of like typical kind of Christmassy one. You know, that it's probably one of the more popular ones. And then, as I said, a couple of you were asking me about doing a wreath for a grave. So this is what I've done as being my grave wreath. And then we went for a little bit of bling, you know, that way. So, do you know, there is a bag of kind of white apples over there. Can you see them um, on your left-hand side? And um, just, I think, a couple of little white apples going through. Yeah, our silver nice. mice, yeah. A little bit of a lift. And then we have our cinnamons and spice, our citrus and spice um, reach there with all the naturals. So what we have here is a couple of these little white, kind of, they're like, what do you call them? Aeroform apples, I suppose. Yeah, styrofoam. Styrofoam yeah. apples. Aeroforms. Aeroform and styrofoam. So I'm just going to add a couple of them just in and out through it. I just kind of feel it could do with a little bit of a lift, as blingy as it is with the pink. But I also think a little bit of silver would be nice going through it as well. So these little apples are just very thin stems. And again, I'm just sticking them down into it and then just barely bending up the end of them just to hold it in place. Paul, um, life at number two says you're like Oprah. You, you get a course, you get a course, you get a course. Um, and do you know what? At the moment, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think anybody that's watching us on Zoom, send me a PM, DM, email, or message. And I'll sign you into the link to the. And what about all the rest of them? They're all going to get mad jealous. Well, here. okay. Do you know what I'm going to do? There, I have a secret page on our website. Oh, have you? And I only just a secret page. Did Santi know about the secret page? No, Santi didn't even know about the secret page. So there's a secret page on our website, which I only put the link to today. So if you go to the, the page where you buy the wreath, so the web, the wreath making kit, click on wreath making kit. If you scroll down to the end of that page, you'll see there's a, a button that will say free tutorials okay and click into that and there's a dining room table arrangement there and there's something else i can't remember what the other one was but there's two free arrangements there so that's one for everyone in the audience that you can join in there i'm doing a ryan turbertine doing a ryan turbertine sure he couldn't even do one for everyone in the Absolutely. audience that was watching him virtually exactly. we can we can do that for everyone that's watching virtually we can do it so there you go what do you think the little apples going in and out through does that give it a little that, yeah actually that's much nicer yeah thanks. it's definitely needed it <laughs> bernie horley wonderful evening thanks for all for the um the moments and it gave us a lift come back over jeanette is the base artificial no the base is fresh all the bases that i've used today are all fresh and they all came from the irish green guys in tralee county kerry so these are all irish grown foliage which is brilliant somebody's asking where would they get christmas remembrance ribbon you'll get that from your local flower shop you will if you're uh, if you are a, fl um, a flower shop contact me and i can tell you the wholesalers that's selling it get lots of love on facebook listen uh, make sure that you click share because it really really adds to our algorithm if you all click share and even if it's to put up a little post to put up a little smiley face share the love tag one of your friends in it it makes such such a difference facebook to, um, love us when we absolutely you know yeah. what i mean like, so the more that you interact with our page like even as i said it's to put up a smiley face click share give us a wave put up a little comment it makes such a difference to our ratings kind of with google so santi are you coming back over to say oh and um, she wants uh once know is it a moss base or could she use uh, the question you could use a moss base yeah you could use a moss base and if you actually i think in them videos that deirdre is actually sending you over to we have some moss base wreaths over there so what you're looking for is go to our website flareschoolireland.com look for the wreath making kit button and scroll down to the very end of that page and all the free links are there where you can zoom in and you zoom in you can click on there and you can join in and you can um watch all the tutorials so listen it was lovely um you joined, lovely and so exciting for you all to join us tonight we really really appreciate it we really appreciate all the support so listen are we all coming over to say goodbye so from me Jeanette it's bye bye Oh, oh, oh. Happy Christmas, everybody! Happy Christmas! 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 Happy